Oh, hello. Wow, there's a lot of you there. Gosh. <laughs>And uh, because he had to have articulation and good lip sync and good head direction and, and attitude and that kind of thing, body language, uh, we actually, I suggested that they convert one of the masks into a hand puppet. T Phil Tibbet was heading up the creature shop for that. And he said, you know, that's a good idea. So we did a screen test um, with a, a mocked up hand puppet of this for, for George Lucas and he directed. And um, he said, yeah, you know what, that's good. And I even um, suggested they wiggle the ears with an ear mechanism, and they built that in as well, and eye blinks. And they shipped it off to uh, ILM to uh, uh, finish the mechanizing. And it came back two weeks later, uh, fully mechanized, and, and we shot it. They had to cut out the seat of the Falcon for me to hide it inside. And they would lift the puppet onto me in, in the cockpit, and away we went. Well, that's it. I had to, to uh, vacuum the, uh, the, the seat from all the Wookiee hairs first, of course, you know, and there were a few, a few fleas and that kind of thing. <laughs> but uh, we, got it, we got it fumigated okay, and uh, there was plenty of room for me. So, but they had to cut the bottom of the seat away and just leave the seat back, and they were kind of nervous about doing that because it was the only one. You know, this is the Falcon, right? Yeah, true. Are you sure we want to be doing this, Governor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, it was great, you know, so I had a little TV monitor so I could see what the camera saw. And uh, yeah, thrust my arm in the air and off we went. And of course they rocked the Falcon around like crazy to simulate flight. And I got bad motion sickness on that thing just because it was, all I could see was what the camera sees. It's like being on a simulator ride from my point of view. So a few days of that and you get a little queasy, you know. Where's the drama mean, you know? And there was another character that uh, is in your resume really that is very similar to this one. Who was that character? There is. <laughs> uh, did, yeah, didn't he have a, like a white costume on, a flight suit? Oh, you're talking about ten um, bum bum bum. How do they come up with these names? Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> you're correct though. Um, we actually shot um, him in a uh, B-wing cockpit because in the flights, uh, the battle uh, scene at the end, you see a lot of B-wings flying around in the exteriors, but you never see inside. And we actually, it was the same puppet, but it, yeah, he had a white suit and that's other little helmet on and we've seen uh, toys of him as a as a as a rebel pilot but uh we shot we shot footage it just it's it, i think it's in the lucasfilm archive somewhere so if enough people ask maybe they can dig it out uh but uh yeah it, it ended up on the cutting room floor they just didn't need it for pacing and and yeah. that kind of thing but well, there'll there. always be re-releases so i'm sure yes. eventually it'll come out as a uh, deleted scene i would love to think so i'd love to think so mike has worked on the majority of the post disney acquisition films and series two the net says that the white suited Sulliston was recolored to red to stop confusion but there's also these white suited shots aboard the falcon plus the green-suited B-Wing pilot not used in the final film. So I see three Sullistons and several other creatives claim to have played at least one of them too. Some of the other work with uh, playing Num9, part of it, uh, along with Mike Quinn, because a lot of the characters had an animatronic head, which was a close-up head where the eyes and moved. The one I played was just a full-length thing, so it was just me with latex masks. And they were very uncomfortable, um, but um, it was a job and you got paid for it. That face you make. Look, I so bad to young eyes. So another thing, I was always a big fan of Yoda, so I got to help Frank to do Yoda with his right hand, which was, it was a little part, but it was really fun. I mean, Frank was very meticulous about the acting moments, and we rehearsed that very carefully, and we had a blast on set with Mark and, you know, so just to, just to clarify there, you were operating the arm? He's right, yeah. Frank would do the head and the left arm. 
someone else would do the eyes. I think uh, Dave Greenaway did the eyes on cables, Dave Barkley did the ears, and I did the right hand. So it was a five-man team. Man, that's impressive to know. And also, I believe I've read that uh, there was a bit of work with Jabba the Hutt as well. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, I helped when Jabba was being strangled by uh, Leia in the sail barge. Um, I was inside with uh, Dave Barkley and Toby Philpott doing the eyes bulging and all that, and the whole fiberglass structure was creaking and cracking, and I thought the whole thing was going to fall apart on us, and battery packs were falling on my head. It was very exciting, very dramatic for us on the inside. <laughs> And you must have been uh, pretty close with Carrie Fisher in the slave layer gear, yeah? Well, close enough, but, uh, you know, <laughs> we're all professionals and we focus on our work. And uh, actually, she was very nice. Everybody was, was very friendly, Harrison and, and Mark, you know. Uh, we were all just about getting our job done, and, and uh, it was a great experience to be on, on the set. It was a real thrill. Please leave a comment. YouTube encourages engagement before they promote our vids and put them in front of more people's eyes. Awesome, Mike. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Cheers.